Welcome back to our channel, Chandra Awesome again uh, after a one week of gap. Uh, sorry for this delay of posting videos in our channel, guys. Uh, this is because of some personal issues. I can't able to post them and do the award. And summer season, the power cut is more, right? So I hope you might understand my problem why I can't able to post videos. Okay. So without lagging, let's come into the topic today. So in the previous videos, I explained you about till of projected curve, and we have other three curve tools called ditch curve, composite curve, intersection curve. So let's work with this three now. What is bridge curve? Bridge curve. It is going to make a connection between two curves, like um. Uh, it's going to cre create a connectivity as uh, you can see the screen it's ex explaining the what is the uh, how to use the bridge curve so basically we can say guys this is a 3d field splaying type like um let me show you that uh, let me sell the sketch uh, let me sell the plane and when you click on the spline tool you can see there is a breezer and spline control point right so what is this beezer so this beezer is also a, like a spline but it can show the continuity you see uh, means uh, it shows the tangential to tangent point to the curve at any every point see so like uh, if you want to work with the um, means want to make a, some design by using the regular shapes and you want to use that regular shape you want to make curve so like by using this you can simply draw a curve which we want see now we got a curve even you can change these points by changing this the curve will also form or else you can give dimensions of I think that you can give other dimensions also so in this way you can work with this breezer okay like the same thing this bridge curve also works so let me sell sell the curves for now let's hide this curve and sell the bridge curve and it's asking start point and end point so let's for example let me sell this one okay and it is asking end point so i want to make this one as okay let me sell this cash point okay okay, okay. we need to sell here right yeah now you can see the curve is not actually formed because of this is we need to manipulate the start and end conditions also here then only it will go into work as here is show select the match position which means it uh, the match position is works like a point to point like a same direction like a, it follows the axis direction or else you can also do manipulation like a match tangent and you can also have control points or magnitude base uh, control points means uh, when you work with a 3d spline you have several control points right so in this way when by connected points you can control the points like that means uh, you can add points at delete and the magnitude basis you are going to give magnitude means in the direction like a, how much you want like a lamp let me show you he is not actually showing here so for that i have to change the position also from here okay now let's change the direction maybe okay let's see i switch it to match position to the first one and for second one I switch it to match tangent here you can see there is a curve showing in the violet color purple color and it's showing the error also this arrow means this arrow is mean is basically used for 
um, increasing the damage direct shows the direction and also you can manipulate using this graphics area or else you can give the magnitude here as i mentioned before uh, how the breezer works the same like it goes to work and you can also give uh, it is the first as selected as match position you can give also match tangent or you can give also match curvature but here is not working because why means these are both at the same faces that's why it's not going to work let's change the curve for example i'm going to set this one point to and give the end point uh, and give the start point to be this and now you can see the first condition and end conditions are different like a match curvature yeah i want to match tangent see so it's actually showing the direction you can change you can follow the along the path you can actually see you can't absorb in 3d like by s2 2 okay let me select again yeah. no, not this point let's start this point and then point is this here we can see it is showing the tangential direction to the car see one is for this line and another is for this line means actually we are going to change the angles like a this a double arrow showing this angle of the second line and the single arrow is showing the uh, means uh, magnitude of the uh, curve see this is uh, this is for curvature offset and this is for start magnitude like the same way you can work with the uh, edit control points in this way you can edit control points or else you can select the magnitude bias it will show only in single direction so you can work on both sides okay and you can manipulate with the tangent or you can manipulate with the curvature like this you can manipulate and get your dissolved joint bridge curve between points as i said before you can also add points it depends on how you can use it okay so i think uh, it is only work for the two points not for the many points okay that is how the bridge curve works I hope you might understand or uh, else you can also use the make transfer points also I explain the extra tool how to work with so the same thing it goes to work for every tool also there is no nothing difference of selection okay now select okay and you can get the curve see now you finally got the curve this is how to work with the bridge curve and next coming is composite curve composite curve is same like a composite part means uh, it is going to make all curves into a single curve <clears throat> let me show you the example for that okay so uh, for example I'm going to sell this curve and sell this curve and this curve now the both curves considered as a one curve let me show the difference here so how much curves are available here this is nine right so when i got sell this one and this one and click ok this new curve is formed which means this is a the original curve is not going for going apart but the new curve is formed right here let me show the difference let me hide all the curves and let me show only the new curve see I got a new composite curve. You can also join many curves as you want. It is same like a composite but how to work with the composite but like the same thing here it's also going to work. But uh, it still maintains the edge points. See uh, when it's held on to this curve, it is show it is one curve only, but it's still showing the edge points. You can't uh, make it a complete curve for making the tangential operations. But I hope you can do that by using the surface designs like that. Okay. This is how to work with the composite curve. And the last but not least is intersection curve. 
So intersection curve is basically work with the surfaces, which means uh, uh, when your two surfaces are got contact to the other, together there is a curve formed between them. So let me explain you with the what is explaining here. So create a curve at intersection of two or more surfaces or faces C. So actually in the surface tool, how we work with there is a mutual trim, right? Like uh, when two surfaces have contact together, we are making mutually cutting to them like uh, they should connect with any other direction, any possible way. Like the same way, the intersection on curve is also going to work. There is nothing different, but here we get the output as a curve and here we get output as a surface. That's the difference. Let me show the example for this also guys. Okay, uh, We had two curves here. Let me extrude them. For example, okay, click on surface and let me extrude this up direction. Uh, make sure this curve is intersecting this uh, new composite curve. Okay, now, now do the same to the same so this curve too. Actually, you can't perform for three curves with extra drive. So, for that, we need to work with the surface tools. Click on surface tools, you know, take the offset. Click on road surface. And click on this one. And it's asking reference features. That's select this. It is not going to work. And change the direction. We need to sell the direction, right? Let me show the planes. So I'm going to sell the right plane. Got it. Now we got a new two surfaces are intersected together. Now what let's work with the intersection curve. So it's asking group one and group two, which means it is asking group one surfaces and group two surfaces. Like uh, when group one and group two get contacted, then only we can get the shape. Let's for example, let me show you. Uh, these are connected actually. So what curve as a result you are expecting? So I also don't know. Let's work with this. I'm selecting this as the first one and sell this as second one. So, so where they meet, they meet there at this point. You can see when you zoom together, there is a pink color highlighted one. That is the expected curve we are going to achieve here. Let me click on this option. And we got new curve. Let me hide the surfaces. And this is the new curve we achieved. In this way, you can also get, uh, get the curve from like this. Let's, so uh, for example, let edit this operations. Let me show the surfaces. Hold the first four. Okay. Now, change the selection. It's like a uh, group one is this one, and sorry, group one is this one, and group two is this one. So either of the way you get the same output based on this difference you can uh, get the shape. So let's for example instead of this curve let me show the surfaces and <clears throat> uh, do some operations to the surface let's for example uh, what kind of things you can do to, for the surface guys. It is their perpendicular one, right? Means uh, I think you can move. Let me see the root surface. Let's sell this edge. And we need normal as a tangent. So I'm going to change the direction. Okay. 
hiding new center hmm I think that's enough so I added a using root surface tool I added a edge to it so let's call let's get the new curve right here okay and select this as a one these are all not as easy single surface you can also group by same group right you can also select by group as for example these two surface as a group and this single as a single group and there you can see we got the new curve how they get intersected to each other when you click on ok and hide the surfaces you can see this is the new <coughs> 3d curve we have achieved by using intersection curve so that is how to work with the uh, curve tools in our chapcat software i hope you might understand what i am trying to teach you uh, in this today's video and the last guys uh, by by the end of these tools we have successfully completed the on chapcat software all tools in our channel and uh, we had also a playlist which is particularly only for learning the onship cat software from beginners to uh, higher level ones who want to learn and how to work with the tools okay uh, i expand with uh, every tool with an example and how to issue and how to work within different situations with those tools along with the tutorials of uh, different parts studios okay so i hope you might understand and this is the complete completion of concept cat software but don't worry guys i'm going to teach you some more importance of on shape like um let me show you the example like here you can see uh this pretty motor what is this use of this this is the like a cnc similar i mean it's like a cnc missions like uh you can perform cnc operations here like a 3d printing uh, cnc operations you can perform right here and i, can, I also posted about how to import the 3d parts without even designing with the exact uh, dimensions as you require so like this way there are many apps in the onshape app store and they are very and they are totally free and you can use them in your uh, projects of designs so i'm going to explain these also but uh, i will going to upload this type of videos by giving the one day one day care and meanwhile in this cap i'm going to teach you uh, going to start with the new cat software and i want to uh, your suggestion which cat software i should start with so it is a make uh, it is easy for both of us for me teaching as well as for you for learning also so that's all about this topic guys i hope you may understand and please uh, try to um, watch all videos in the playlist i am going to give the playlist in the description and learn the onship cat software completely okay guys and i am also mentioning that uh, if you have any work uh, with the cat one please try please contact me for the business works i given the business email also uh, and thanks for watching guys have a nice day